Dizalicious Etsy shop focuses on jewelry and accessories that are very retro, colorful, and fun. And I've been a longtime fan of this shop and I've enjoyed seeing the product photography. I wanted to focus on two products in this shop that have some really neat product photography. So let's get started. First we have this purple rose ring. This is a very nice macro shot right off the bat here, our first product photo. We see a very nice close-up. And one of the things that I like about Tiz's shop is that she uses these contrasting colors as far as the background and then the product. And that makes the product really stand out against the background and Tiz is very good at that. So that's one thing I wanted to point out. So we have a very close shot of the rose here. And then as we go on, we see the angle shifted just a little bit, and then we can see how the ring is attached actually to the rose. We can see the side view here. And then this view is also very important. This is a very sharp photo. We can see how it's joined to the rose. We can see the closure here uh, and the adjustableness of this ring. And then here we have the ring on a model. We can't really see the full size of it because this is a very close-up shot on the model's hand, but we do get an idea of how it does look against the skin and, and the coloring there. So I like this particular product photo set for several reasons. Let's look at one more. Here's another that I like. Tiz likes apples, I think, because she has lots of them in her shop. And This necklace really stands out from the background and we see a color contrast here, the green and the red, and a very nice close-up shot here. Here we have another angle, and we can see that this is a ball and chain necklace because she's included this little clasp here in the corner of the photo. Here's another very similar to the first shot. Here's a close-up of the actual ring that connects the ball and chain necklace to the actual charm, so that's nice to see that. And then just kind of a neat angle, very creative there, just pulling the camera down a little bit and viewing it not from straight down, but actually from the side. It gives you an idea of the depth and the thickness of the charm. And so this is very helpful as well. I mentioned this earlier, but back to the main view of Tiz's shop, you'll notice that there are lots of colors in this shop. She uses a variety of color backgrounds. I'm not sure if she uses cardstock or a fabric. I'm not sure what she uses, but it's very colorful. Many of her products are small, and so she's able to maybe use a light box. I'm not sure what she uses for her lighting. This looks like it's probably natural lighting over here, but uh, some of the others might be a, a light box. I, I'm not sure, but we can see them uh, really stand off from the background because of those colors and that's a great idea if you have products that you could use maybe cardstock or paper some kind of a colorful background that's very simple but colorful and that makes the shop look very fun so thanks Tiz for letting us take a look inside your shop and hope that you all picked up some product photography ideas to improve your own shops in the future <music>